the lines are blurring again, bringing the cloud even closer to your local computer with Windows 365 Boot. Now you can boot up your own computer and log in with your cloud credentials and automatically get signed into your cloud PC and pick up right where you left off. Now the setup begins here in the Intune portal. Go to your devices and then open Windows 365 and here you have a new boot guide. Now you can just read through all the details here, which is just an overview of the feature, and then click next. Now your devices will be auto-enrolled in Windows Autopilot if you have that set up, which I don't yet. And your cloud PCs will be named automatically as usual, but if you wanna have more control over the naming, you can just click this box. And there's some macros here that you can use for things like serial numbers or random strings. And I'll use this so I can tell this apart from the rest of my cloud PCs. And then scroll down. Now this next item will be a prefix that you want to add to these list of resources here at the bottom that'll be created to make the whole thing work. And I'll use W365 boot. And I'll even throw in a description. Then click next. Now a Windows update ring will be set up for your cloud PCs, so no worries there. And if you already have auto patch set up, it's my understanding that auto patch will take over in the end, but I want to hear from all of you how that ends up working in your environments. And I'll give here my users seven days to defer their updates and the start and end defaults here are fine for me. And then at the bottom, I'll also pick seven days for the update deadlines. And I click next. On the settings window, you can select from your VPN and Wi-Fi profiles if you've already got them configured in Intune, which I haven't done yet, so I'll just skip it. But those VPN profiles can be crucial if you aren't building on your own networks so that you can connect back to your corporate environment. Now you just have to assign the policy. And I'll just go ahead and pick an existing group and then click next one more time. Then you can review all of the details and be sure to scroll down. And over on the side here, you'll have links to all those different docs for the resources that you're about to build. And it is just that simple to get this thing up and running. When you're ready, just check this box at the bottom and that'll just take a quick second to set up. And that's one thing I really love about these Windows 365 solutions. The admin side is really straightforward and it just works. And now comes the fun part. Your users will start to see some extensions getting installed on their clients, which is gonna enable them to use boot for their cloud PCs. However, since this feature has just launched, it's in preview. And today, that means we need some help. The components of Windows 11 itself that make the whole boot magic possible aren't part of your version of Windows yet. So to make this work today, you need to be on the Windows 11 Insider Dev Channel. And to make that happen, open your Windows settings, and then go to Windows Updates over there, then click here on the Windows Insider Program and it looks like I've got to add some extra diagnostics first. So just click that link and then toggle this thing on and we're good to go. And go back to the Insider program and click to get started. Now you'll wanna click over here and link your account and from the list, you'll need the dev channel. Then click continue. Now this will take a little while to do all of its magic and then you get some more boxes here that just click yes and continue and then you need a reboot. After that, you get signed back in, go back to Windows Updates again, and you should see this bad boy, the Windows 11 Insider Preview. That's gonna take a bit to download, but once it's done, you'll wanna reboot again, and then everything should be all installed and set up. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. There it is, you get signed into your computer with your cloud credentials, and you're automatically signed in to your cloud PC. And now we can get right back to work. And this is just the first of some very cool Windows 365 features that are coming out soon. And we'll of course have videos on all of them right here as they become available. In the meantime, go and try out Windows 365 boot and as always, happy learning.